excited to be back and do some new tutorials. I have a whole list of ones I'm going to be doing. So today I'm keeping it pretty quick, pretty simple, just to get us back in the flow of stuff. So I was woken up really early this morning by my amazing husband and he said, I want to take you on a date tonight. And in my dead of sleep, I said, yeah, okay, okay, sure. Oh, it's Friday. I didn't even realize it's Friday. So I am going to be taken on a date by my hubby. And um, I've been working all day, so I obviously already have my hair a little bit done. My makeup is basically done. However, working all day and wanting to turn it into a night look is something really easy and simple for people to be able to do. So this is going to just show you how I quickly bump up my eyes by adding some individual lashes. Now there are different types of lashes that you can do. There's strip lashes, there's individual lashes, and I'm more of an individual lash kind of girl just because they look more natural. Anytime I wear them people are like, oh my gosh, your eyelashes are so long and natural. And I'm like, yeah, of course, those are totally mine. Not. But I will actually tell them, oh, they're just individual lashes. And then women go, oh, I wish I could do that myself. So I'm here today to show you how oh my babe, you can get um, a f kind of, probably not five minutes today, but normally once you get the hang of it and within like five, ten minutes you can really bump up your eyes by adding some lashes and maybe bumping up your eyeshadow. But again, I'm just going to add the lashes today. So a few items you will need is any choice of lashes obviously so like I said I'm going more for the individual lashes um, there are also the strips available if you want to learn how to do the individuals they're different than the strips so you can let me know if you guys all need help learning how to strip and how to strip I don't want you stripping um, how to put individual lashes on compared to how to put strip lashes on then just let me know and I can do that for you so I am going to grab my individual lashes as well as any duo glue. Mine is just the white. I like to get the black normally, but um, the black adhesive so that way you barely see it. Um, but they never have any in stock, of course. So any eyelash glue and then tweezers of your choice. I like ones that are pretty, pretty pointy on the ends because you can really get close up to. These are my Anastasia from Beverly Hills ones. They're very cute and pink and they're just amazing for tweezing. Anyway, an eyelash curler and then of course mascara. So if you are interested in seeing how I create my bump up lash for my date night tonight, then please keep watching. So I am back and just to show you kind of, um, I grabbed a mirror. You'll want to definitely get close to a mirror. Sometimes uh, when I do it, I'll normally just stand next to my big mirror. But because I'm teaching you, I grabbed one of my little handheld mirrors. There's a zoom side and the um, non-zoom side. I'm actually going to use the non-zoom for I feel um, the zoom's a little too aggressive for me. But um, yeah, so what I ended up doing is I normally take the adhesive glue and where there's a lash missing or I'll pull one out, I'll actually put a little lash glue here. A lot of people will put it on the back of their hand, but for me, the little or less of a mess I can make, the better. So this kind of keeps my hands clean, but also gets the job done. So I'm just going to kind of show you one by one, and um, you can see where I start. I'll try to talk as I go through without being too confusing. So you're always just going to grab one. The trick to grabbing these is you really want to get super close to the root of the lash pretty much that close and just give it a pull. That week um, the difference is if you grab from the very ends it gets all frailed and weird and you you lose a lash which if that happens to more than one or two then it starts getting really irritating and you miss a lot. So I'm just going to put a, the very end in my duo glue and a little bit goes a really long way so you can kind of see just a little bit on the tip and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do my right side of my eye. I obviously do both, but um, I'm going to start with my right because my right is my easiest. And then what I do is I have put a coat or two of mascara on my lashes because I had it on today. So that's something that you definitely want to do when it comes to individuals or strips. But the individuals, you want to put like one or two coats or kind of how you like it. I tend to put a lot, so I think I put three on today. Um, but yeah, so you'll just kind of go into it 
And then I always start right in the center for where I want to go. Now individuals, I always do, I always start from the center of my eye and I work my way out. I don't ever cover my entire eye with these. On, on some clients I will, but for me, I'm just going to build that outer lash so that way it kind of gives me that big open eye look. You'll place one and then you can see the glue, you'll be able to see the glue is kind of drying. That's the one good thing about having or using the white um, eyelash duo as your beginning because then you can really see when it's dry, when you can mascara afterwards. Um, but other than that, I try to... And then you want to get them as close as possible to each other but leaving a little bit of space so that way your real lashes go in between. The, po the reason for individual lashes is to kind of give you more of that natural base look um, for lashes, making them thick, making a little bit length depending on what size you use. But for me, I like them just being more thick than super long because then I feel like I look a little crazy. Make sure to push the, the very tip of the lash that you're putting on. Make sure it hits the skin of your eyelid um, on the lash line so that way it's adhering to the skin but it's also at the same time adhering to your eyelashes. And looking down is the biggest part but not closing. If you close your eye kind of squinches like this and you don't want that. You want the relaxed look as though somebody else would be doing it for you but so right now I've done four and I'm gonna, like I said, I just kind of keep going until I'm happy. And so you can kind of see the difference already in what my eyeshadow look or my mascara looks like with my new lashes and without. It's crazy the difference, especially after you put mascara on. And you want to go as far out as your eyelash goes, but make sure that it's not pointing down any lashes that you want that up effect. So everything should kind of be facing upward and giving you that And then look. if they get a little crazy, you can kind of press them. And then as they're slowly drying, you don't want to do this too soon because you can take one off and then you just have to replace it, which is really easy. But um, you want to move them around to kind of make sure that they stay fluttery. So I'm going to let those dry for just a few minutes or just a couple minutes before I put mascara and curl them because those are the two number one things. That way you can kind of see one without and one with. And then I will go quickly through the other one but just so you can kind of see the difference of what just a few lashes will do. So I am back and I'm going to do my other side of my eyelashes. And since I noticed that I cut off the part where you can actually see where I placed them, I'm going to place them for you on this eye just so you can see. I don't ever go in the inside of my eye. while you're doing it and you actually grab one, you can just take it off and re-dip it. It's not a big deal. Don't get flustered like you have to start all over. You can kind of follow in the glue where it was, just placing that new one there. And make sure to look up into the mirror after so many just to make sure that you kind of have the look and the style of the eyelashes that you're wanting and going for as well as matching. You want to kind of keep track of how many you're putting on each eye or on the first eye so that way you can match it because if you put seven or eight on one and then you have four on the other it's going to look a little funky and a little different so just kind of build it to your liking. But the place I always stop is right when you look dead center, right at the middle of your iris, you just go straight and then as far over as you'd like.
And so again, just let those dry for a few minutes, kind of don't touch them, give them a few minutes before you start fanning them to make sure they are stuck in the position that you want. And then you are going to continuously mascara them, make sure to keep the fluttering motion, and I recommend curling just because they do start to weigh down and you will love it so much more and it'll be so much more fun and glamorous. And again, when you're putting eyelashes on, you're doing it to up your look and kind of make everything a little bit more fun and funky and, and beautiful and it does add an intensity to the regular makeup that you have. You can see I don't have a crazy smoky eye or anything like that but pretty natural but um, just adding the lashes can do so much for everyone and they're one of my addictions along with I know a lot of women if they could just do it themselves so I hope that this step by step really helped you guys at home. Try it a few times. It's going to be hard at first but definitely try, try, try. Uh, the more you practice, the better you get, and I can guarantee that. I teach lessons all the time to women, and this is their number one thing they'll ask me to do and to teach them. And it is frustrating. You're going to get mad. You're going to break a whole bunch of lashes, so definitely buy a few little tubes and go from there. And then that way you can just play and have fabulous lashes for whenever you want. It doesn't have to be for a special occasion or anything like that. So be... Go try it and tag me and show me or ask me any other questions you may have. I'd love to answer them and I look forward to doing more tutorials with you. I'll show you some finished of both eyes done at the very end. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait for the next one.